are we talking about this warrior's dynasty, as it were, or this no. particular iteration? No, no, no. Get the debate straight. No right. dynasty. This, no three-year exactly. one. One I, I want to make that clear because they didn't three-peat, and their first one was against a Cavs team with only LeBron. Della Vadova was the second best player. So we're not talking about this whole Warriors era so far. No, we're not. We're talking about this team. Yes. So are they the best ever if you play by today's rules where you can't touch anybody? You, and maybe even if you don't, you might argue that they are the best. Because as you said, take the best football team in 1950 in the NFL and, and have them compete against the worst NFL team today. And the worst NFL team will smoke the best team in the 1950s. I use that time frame to point out over time, you're right, athletes do get bigger, better, stronger. And through trial and error, coaches figure out what works and what doesn't work. The question, however, is not the best team. It's the greatest team. What's the difference? It, let's take the one sport that is measured completely objectively, that's track and field. So in the 100-meter dash, how many of the top 10 sprinters in the world would Jesse Owens beat today? The answer is zero. They would dust him, every single one. They're all better than him. That's not really what we mean. We mean who's greater. How did they fare against their own contemporaries? Because you could argue based on the equipment they used and the technology at the time and the training methods, if you put Jesse Owens today, you can't do that. So you have to see how they fared against their contemporaries. The 72 win Chicago Bulls, 72 wins, swept the heat, as I mentioned last week, with Hardaway and Alonzo Mourning. Beat the Knicks in five games, an excellent Knicks team. The only Knicks win was at home in overtime. Jordan dropped 46. Swept the Shaq Penny Magic, who'd been to the finals the year before and won 60 games that year. And followed that up in the finals with a win against the Seattle team that had won 64. Four games and was actually, for their era, a better two-way team than this Cavs team, which looked vulnerable, especially during the regular season, in a very weak Eastern Conference. Even that Seattle team had to get by a great Utah team with Stockton, Malone, and Hornacek, all great players. Hornacek, borderline, the other two first ballot Hall of Famers, great coach, stability, everything. And had to beat the Rockets, who were two-time defending NBA champions. That Seattle team swept the Rockets. That Seattle team was a juggernaut that the Bulls beat. So the Bulls actually not only had a better regular season record, not only had the greatest player of all time on the team, but faced better competition during the playoffs. The Warriors faced injured teams until they got to the Cavs. Faced better opposition during the playoffs. That's just not true, by the way. And won more impressively. In their That's era, they not, were a better team. Hey, you love your analytics. You love to talk about things people don't understand, like ELO and quote 538. They're all against you on this. They all say this is the toughest competition any champion has faced. What the Warriors have done is tougher than what the Bulls did facing the teams you just named. How many 60-win teams let's, let's did they win in the playoffs? Zero. Stephen I a. feel like I'm listening to a damn episode of Star Trek. <laughs> you know? We boldly go where no man has gone before. Oh, stop it. Here's the reality. They're not the greatest team ever. They're an elite team. They're an elite offensive team. We saw, we saw some stuff. So, you know, their armor compromised to some degree defensively. We saw LeBron doing what he did. Well, now, let's take into account, let's say, for example, if you're sitting there, we're acting like we're talking about shadow basketball here. Guys just playing amongst themselves and playing a contest of horse. No, competition matters. So who did they go against? The regular season is the regular season. In the postseason, they went up against Portland, who had Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum. They went up against the Utah Jazz, who had Gordon Haywood and a pass beyond his, or, uh, beyond his prime. Joe Johnson, who was big in big moments, but outside of that, not so much. And then, of course, the Western Conference Finals. We know what happened with Kawhi Leonard with Zsa Zsa for Julian in Game 1 after they were down 23. They really didn't face anybody until they went up against Cleveland. And the Cleveland squad, they went up against Kevin Love, wasn't there when it really, really counted. J.R. Smith was a no-show for the first two games, exploded for the last three. But in the end, what are we talking about here? You talk about the best team ever. Kareem with Magic and Worthy and Byron Scott and Norm, and Norm Nixon before that and Michael Cooper. The Boston Celtics with Bird and Parrish and McHale. The, uh, the greatest power forward in history outside of Tim Duncan, by the way. Then we look and we think about, uh, uh, you're talking about, I I'm just, I'm just, my mind is just all over the place right now when it I is. think about the you're right. Bulls. 
Your the mind Bulls, is all over listen, the place right the now. The Bulls, Dennis Rodman, Jordan, and Pippen. Let me ask you a question, Will. I'm listening. Because I know you don't know basketball. You just pretend, but that's Let okay. Let me just ask you a question. Oh, no, I said I'm going to ask. I said I want to ask a question. I said I want to ask a question. I said I want to ask a question. Why do I keep getting up right? Excuse me. Why? Because you showed up on TV for two months. You had a two-month streak, and sort of all of a sudden you got it should unnerve you. What I can do in two You were doing politics until two months ago. It should make you nervous. What I can do in two months. I mean, please. That's not true. Oh, you really stepped out of the lane. You really stepped. Wait till I'm wrong about the ramp. But we'll well, save well, not that only for that, later. the 20 years, the 20 years comes from the reporting, not the prediction. Just in case you didn't right. know. But let me say this to you, and I'll end it with this point: If Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, if Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman were guarding them, would they have looked this way in the series? No. Well, I mean, well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Answer the question. It's a yes or no question. Would they look? It's would, not would a these yes go or no to, question. Yes, it is. No, no, no. What I'm saying is this. When we talk about the best team ever, we're predicating I, it. Hold on. We're predicating it on what we have seen. So I'm simply asking you, would you have seen that? Can you hand check they or not? On, a, on, a level, on that level. Can, of, can you hand check or not? What rules are they playing by? I would say, I would look, say old school I, rules. I, then well, of obviously, would. they well, can't get off would. like this. Well, of course you would. Right. Of course you would. Well, that's when they were playing. Yep. Oh. Right, so who, whichever, so according to which rules do you play, Will? Listen, that's part of it.